Psalm 12. Mm. Hallelujah. I will just read a few little scriptures in Job 12. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. And it says, Hallelujah. Doubtless you are the people, and wisdom will die with you. But I have a mind as well as you. I am not inferior of you who does not know all these things. I have become a laughing stock to my friends. Though I call upon God and he answered a mere laughing stock, though righteous and blameless, men at ease of contempt for misfortune as the fate of those whose feet are slipping, the tent of masters, are undisturbed and those who provoke God are secure. Those who carry their gods in their hand, but ask the animal and they will teach you, or the birds of the air and they will tell you, or to speak to the earth and it will teach you, or let the fish of the sea inform you, which of all these does not know that the hands of the Lord has done this, in this and in the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind, does not the hear test words as the tongue tastes food? Is not wisdom found among the age? Does not life, long life bring understanding? To God belong wisdom and power. Counsel and understanding are is what he te tears down cannot be rebuilt. The man he imprisoned cannot be released. If he hold back in the water, there is drought. If he let them loose, they disaster the land. To him belongs strength and victory. Both deceive and deceiver are in his. Are his. He led counselor away, stripped and makes fool as judges. He takes off the shackle, put on the kings, and ties the lion cloth around their waist. He lead priests away stripped and overthrow men long established. He silence, glory to God, the lips of trust advisors and takes away the discernment of elders. He pour contempt on nobles and disarm the mighty, hallelujah. He revealed the deep things of darkness and bring deep shadows into the light. He make nation great and he destroy them. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. He enlarges nations and despairs them. He deprived the leaders of the earth of their reason. He sent them wandering through a struckless ways. 25 and last, they go up in darkness and to light he make them Tagger. Glory to God Almighty. That's the reading, hallelujah, Jesus, of God's only word. Glory to God Almighty. Church of the living God, I'm sweating, I'm burning up. My AC, the man of God, no, my AC exploded. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tagger, God Almighty. But I give God the glory, the hand on the praise. I am sweating, glory to God Almighty, in this place. But God heard the comfort. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father of life, full of glory. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, as I come before your presence once again, God. Father God Almighty, I am nothing before you, Jesus, but just a lump of clay. Father, as I lift my hands to heaven, God Almighty, I come before you this afternoon in repentance, God, of sin, knowing and unknowing. Father God Almighty, hallelujah, glory to God. For the evil thoughts that I think about today, God. Hallelujah, glory to God Almighty. I forgive you, God. I ask for forgiveness, God. Forgive me, God, for the thought that I think, God. Hallelujah, that you're not with me. Ah, God Almighty, that's the enemy are trying to destroy me left, right, and center. Where are you, God? Father, forgive me for even thinking that we are today. And Father, as I come as an humble lamb this afternoon, Jesus. Father God Almighty, with the word that you have embedded in me to bring forth to your servants, God. Father God Almighty, I ask of you, Jesus. Have mercy upon me, God Almighty. Father, I ask of you, God Almighty, to stand forth, hallelujah, the, sir, the angel of seraphite, to touch my lips, God. For I'm a woman of unclean, glory to God Almighty, and I live amongst unclean people. 
But God Almighty, hallelujah, Jesus. You said what don't kill you, make you stronger. And whatever you are doing, God, do it. So it's gonna, for me and for your glory. Hallelujah, to make me stronger in thee. To let me push deeper and higher in thee. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, bless your holy name. Let your word, God Almighty, come forth this afternoon. With rebuke, God Almighty, hallelujah, reprove. Correction, hallelujah, glory to God. And send those who are supposed to go into repentance, God Almighty. This afternoon, Jesus, thank you for the word that you have given unto me, God. It's your word. Let them not see me, not hear me, God, but see you and hear you through me. This afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, I pray, God Almighty, hallelujah, I cover the atmosphere, I cover the devices this afternoon, I cover each and every one on this line this afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, let your power fall this afternoon, let your blood speak this afternoon, oh God Almighty, I claim deliverance this afternoon, Father God, I claim healing breakthrough this afternoon, I claim the restoration this afternoon for each and every one on this line and even off this line, God Almighty, for Thank your you. people around the Word. Glory to God Almighty who will be listening to this. Mm -hmm. hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Even when I'm gone, it is still there, God. Oh, glory to God Almighty. I glorify you. I honor you and I give you thanks this afternoon in Jesus' name. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. This evening, our oh, God Almighty, we're talking about the stripping. Our oh, God Almighty, hallelujah. God has to strip us before he can bless us. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because a lot of us, glory to God. We have so many things that don't belong to God. God don't want us to have it. He has given to us by the enemy. Glory to God. And we still hold on to it. And we're wondering why God ain't doing nothing for us. So glory to God Almighty. We're wondering how we are a child of God. We call ourselves a glory to God Almighty, a child of God. Hallelujah. We are still glory to God Almighty going through this. Oh, glory to God. But this afternoon, I'm just here to tell somebody that God reveals idol in our heart that keep us from being able to draw near to him. Glory to God. This tripping process can be painful. But the outcome is a beautiful result. Glory to God Almighty. Stripping isn't a word we use often in the course of our daily life. Unless we are referring to furniture, the word is rather negative. Glory to God Almighty, because some of us, hallelujah, we don't want to hear the word stripping. Glory to God Almighty. Amen. Amen. It's not something we generally discuss with our friend at the coffee shop. Hallelujah. Talk about questioning, look like nearest table. Glory to God. I kind of word near to the meaning of strip interested me to deprive glory to god almighty of covering to deprive of divest and clear out our empty glory to god to take away or to remove glory to god almighty god want to take away glory to god he want to remove glory to god almighty he want to empty us so he can refill us with his glory. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But a lot of us don't want uh, to be stripped. Uh, glory to God Almighty. We want mm -hmm. God unto uh, what the enemy had given unto us. Uh, glory to God Almighty. But this evening I come to tell somebody that what the enemy have given unto you, uh, what you have come out of Egypt with, glory to God uh, Almighty. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lord God Almighty, let me just go to the further back. Glory to God Almighty. All the Egyptians alone. Our God Almighty could wear leather sandals. Our God Almighty, hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. So when if you're born in Egypt, glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. You have the Egyptian leather sandals. This evening I'm telling somebody, glory to God, to take it off. Glory to God Almighty. Remove the Egyptian garment this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God wants to clothe you. Our God Almighty with his own things. I said, God want to clothe you, glory to God, with his righteousness. God want to clothe you, glory to God, with his blessings. But because of the Egyptian garment and the Egyptian sleep slippers, oh God Almighty, sandals, whatever they might call it, that you're wearing, 
God cannot put anything there. You have to get rid of the devil's things uh, before God can bless you. So for God to bless us, hallelujah, when we cross over, glory to God Almighty, when we come out of Egypt, hallelujah, and go on to the land of Canaan, uh, God have to strip us, glory to God, before he can bless us. A lot of us don't want to hear to be stripped. Hallelujah, glory to God. God work on stripping and consuming leads to being rebuilt with God and gaining God. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Psalms 27, verse 8, he said, When you say, seek my face, to you my heart says your face, oh God, will I seek. Oh, can you see God face and you have on the enemy's garment? Glory to God Almighty. God will recognize you. He will recognize you. Glory to God. God's intention is that we would be person living with the heavenly visions. And the reality of is God economy. We however may be contented with what we are. You contempt with what you are. You glad to the one. Yeah, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus. We are taking the Holy Spirit. To the one place. Glory to God Almighty. To the one place, hallelujah, Jesus. You contented with it. Because you don't intend to let go of the enemy's garment. You don't intend to let go of the enemy's device. You don't intend to give back the enemy what you give unto you. So you contempt where you is. But this evening. God says, hallelujah, glory to God. He carries you out, oh God Almighty, the work of stripping and consuming to tear us down so that he may usher us in a deep and seeking after God to gain and to rebuild with God. Glory to God Almighty. We have to lose everything. Everything, glory to God. What we have gained with the enemy. We have to lose everything. Glory to God. We have to let go. Glory to God. Of everything that the enemy have given unto us. We have to let it go. God, I got tear it down this evening. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said tear it down this evening. Strip it off this evening. Mash it up this evening. So God can rebuild you this evening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. We are still in the book of Job. Our God Almighty Job was teared down. Job was mashed up. Our God Almighty Job, our God, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory Job, our God Almighty Job lost everything. Job lost everything. Job lost everything for the gaining God to be transformed by God, the purpose of God. In the book of Job, we see the great question with two parts. Why did God create us? What is purpose in creating man? When he has to tear us down, when he has to break us apart, glory to God. And why do we have so much suffering? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Why God has made us? A lot of us ask the question, why did I born? Why you have to suffer so much? Why you have to go through so many suffering? I said, Job living his early age approximately at the same time as Abraham. So the divine revelation, glory to God, was still in his early stage. Therefore, the book of Job doesn't give us the reality. Glory to God. And full answer to these questions. However, the entire Bible, especially the epistle of Paul in the New Testament, gave us an explicit answer to this question. Hallelujah. And today we are the beneficiaries of all that God. I said today we are the beneficiaries of Glory to God of all that God has revealed throughout the aging concerning this. And the reason why we cannot, our God Almighty, benefit of what God, glory to God, Abraham and Job have left behind, glory to God, is because we're still holding on, glory to God Almighty, to what the enemy has given us in our early days. We're still holding on, glory to God Almighty, to the enemy's device. We're still holding on. That's why we cannot. 
sometimes we wonder, God, I need a blessing. God, I need something. God, why I'm suffering. God, hallelujah. But let me tell you something this evening. The reason why, glory to God, we can't see any manifestation of God. Oh, God Almighty, because we're still in Egypt. Glory to God Almighty, we are still in Egypt. Glory to God, it's time for us to come out of Egypt so we can see the manifestation of God and feel the manifestation of God. If someone come to you and says, hallelujah, the house that you have built, you have gained that house, hallelujah, when you were in the world, doing, working for the devil. Hallelujah. God wants you to get rid of that house. You're not going to get rid of your house. You can't get rid of your house. You have but because we don't trust God. We don't trust God. We say we believe. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. And we do not believe that God uh, can tear down her. Uh, and God can build up in the book of Job. Uh, I want someone to go to the book of Job. Uh, so no, hallelujah. Uh, if suffering, glory to God. Uh, Job lost everything. Job lost everything. Uh, but Job hold on to the promises of God. Uh, Job hold on, hallelujah, to the word of God. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God Almighty. Job says, uh, though he slay me, uh, yet when I trust him, uh, how much of us been slayed uh, this afternoon and still trust in God? Uh, how much of us been slayed? Amen. Still trust in God this afternoon. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is doing, and us we, we need to be open to God, not to argue with him and ask him why this or that, glory to God, but just to gain more of God. Hallelujah. Everyone in the world is passing through suffering. It's not just you, it's not just me. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Some sort of suffering. And we all can see it. But others suffer. Not many knows about it. So many of us suffers. And not many knows about it. Because we're not going to come out here. And we're not going to say. Lord Jesus may I suffer. Lord Jesus this. Oh God Almighty. You don't even know what may I go through. Hallelujah. God knows what I'm going through. God knows what you are going through. Glory to God Almighty. When we pass through suffering, there has to be a universal meaning to it, not just a personal gain or meaning. There is something called the eternal economy of God. We're talking about, hallelujah, the present economy, where we are into, we are suffering into the present economy. Lord God Almighty, we don't want that one day. We want eternal economy. The eternal economy of God, which is being carried out in the midst of all the suffering of men. The whole answer to this great question of what is God's purpose in his creation of man and what is God's purpose in his dealing with the holies. Oh God Almighty, once his chosen people, glory to God, is that we could gain more of God to be transformed by God for the purpose of God. Amen, amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. Praise God. We need to be person who live not merely to improve others, hallelujah. Not to improve others, glory to God. And not to improve ourselves, glory to God Almighty. And God Almighty nowadays, it's about um, God Almighty, what did I call it now? Competition, oh, God Almighty, when it comes to God's word. And who is more, glory to God, eloquent than who, hallelujah. And who have more churches bigger and, and who, glory to God Almighty. But a lot of us, we are in some big church and we have some big this and some big that. But we need to be stripped because most of the things them that we have, glory Glory to God is from the enemy, and they are done well from Egypt. Glory to God Almighty, and you can't carry glory to God Almighty. What you have in Egypt, glory to God, to the promised land, you can't carry it there. So you left them down at Egypt. Glory to God Almighty. You better left them down at Egypt. You better give back Pharaoh in goods. Glory to God Almighty. We need to be person who live not merely to improve ourselves. Learn to be better people or cultivate our character. Glory to God. With our morality and ethics, we need to live in the heavenly vision and in the reality of eternal economy of God. Glory, hallelujah. 
when we see the eternal economy of God and realize that God desires to work himself into us, to be in our life and everything so that we may be transformed and conformed to the image of Christ. Glory, hallelujah. And be a part of the corporate expansion of God. We will be governed by this vision. Hallelujah. May the vision of God govern us. Glory to God and control us to the point that evil in suffering and difficulty seeks to wear shot. We could open to the Lord and allow him to dispense himself into us. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to say hallelujah just as I read, as, 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 as I come across this part, hallelujah, glory to God. I remember something downloaded in my spirit, glory to God Almighty, when I was in the world, hallelujah. If I just don't eat and you come to fight me, I would say go, hallelujah, because you win today. Because, hallelujah, my belly is full and I cannot fight when my belly is full. But when I'm hungry, oh God Almighty, that's when I'm hungry. Glory to God Almighty. So if you come, glory to God, to fight me, glory to God Almighty, that's the time I find the strength. And this is strength telling me, glory to God Almighty, that when glory empty, glory to God Almighty, empty and dispense ourselves glory to God before God Almighty that's when we gain the strength glory to God Almighty to fight what comes up against us we open up to the Lord and just gain God not the content with where we are hallelujah and what we are we don't supposed to be content with where we are and what we are Glory to God Almighty, hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, deceiving school of prophet. I do not, glory to God Almighty, account of myself to have laid hold. But one thing I can do, glory to God Almighty, forgetting the things which are behind me. Glory to God, and stretching forward to the things which are before me. I pursue towards the goal for the price which God in Christ Jesus has called me. I don't care what I lost. I don't care what God took from me. I don't care, glory to God Almighty. I am pushing forward to what is ahead of me. Job and his friend spent days and days arguing and debating. And even though there was so much knowledge and human wisdom being expressed, they had no understanding concerning the purpose of what happened to Job. They were ignorant, yes, of the purpose of this most painful and vexing situation. Who wouldn't vex? They were puzzled in their godliness and they were not able to see what the reason, what the purpose, and what is the result of such a thing that befell Job. Glory to God Almighty. When something has been destroyed for us, taken from us, we can't see, hallelujah, why it has been taken, why we have lost it, why, glory to God Almighty, but sometimes, hallelujah, it's for our better. I learn nowadays, whatever it is, I give God the glory. Whatever come my way, I give God the praise. Whatever befall me, I tell God thanks. Glory to God. Actually, what was happening in Job's experience is that God took another step in his divine economy, glory to God, to carry out uh, the work of stripping, uh, glory to God, uh, consuming the contempt of Job in order to usher him into a deeper seeking after God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes we say uh, to ourselves, uh, God Almighty, I am praying. Uh, I am fasting, hallelujah, glory to God. I am worship, I never lose my praise. But God wanna take us deeper. Oh God Almighty, and there is something black in us. There is something in our way. So God has to remove it. Whatever the idol is that is in our heart. Whatever the idol is that is in our house. Whatever the idol is that's around us. God has to remove it. God has to strip us down, glory to God. To take us into the deeper so we can get closer. God Almighty, and deeper into Him. Hallelujah. What idol I have in my possession. What idol that I had in my possession. What idol do I have in my possession? God, this so that Job may gain God instead of his blessings and his attainments. Glory to God in his perfection and integrity. Glory to God Almighty. Job was content with what he was and where he was. So God had to come in. Glory to God. Some of us to comfortable where we are. So God has to step in now. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And said, God has to come in. Oh God Almighty and start. The work of stripping, uh, glory to God Almighty, and consuming uh, to have a way to rebuild you, glory to God. God wanna rebuild you this afternoon, glory to God Almighty. You have to strip you. Oh, God Almighty, you wonder why you're losing uh, so much things. Uh, you wonder why so many things going bad in your life. Uh, glory to God Almighty. God wants you deeper in him. Uh, he has to strip you. Glory to God Almighty. Uh, oh, God Almighty, hallelujah, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I said, God has to strip you this evening. Uh, glory to God Almighty. Uh, to take you, hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. It comes this evening. Uh, I said, the Holy Ghost comes this evening. Uh, to tear off. I said the holy was come this evening to tear off glory to God Almighty, to strip you down glory to God, so he can rebuild you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. God wants to rebuild you this afternoon. So that our God Almighty, you, you may see God in a deeper way to gain God and nothing else. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. God want to strip us this evening. Hallelujah. God wants us a divine attention. Too many, too many things, hallelujah. Too many things holding us back. Glory to God, hallelujah. Too many things, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, too many things in our way. Glory to God. God want to tear them off this evening. Oh, God Almighty, this evening, ask God. Say unto God, strip me this evening, Jesus. Strip me this evening, Jesus. Tear off, my God Almighty, whatever is not of yours. Tear it down this evening. Glory to God Almighty. So I can gain more of you, God Almighty. So I can riba shikete baba sata. Raba baba sike makuturbu saya. Miyabu shata baba sete. Strip me down, katarabu saya, Jesus. Rebuild me, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. God has to do the work of stripping and consuming, hallelujah, of the contented believers who first tear them down and then rebuild them with the God himself so that they would see God in a deeper way to gain God and nothing else. It is easy to be contented as a human being or as a believer however god cannot bless a self-contented person hallelujah god cannot bless a self-contented person amen glory to god one who doesn't actively and desperately pursue him to gain him glory to god almighty you want more anointing. You're not doing nothing. You just sit down. Oh, God Almighty, give me fresh anointing. Don't know that I need fresh, fresh fire. 
fresh anointing. What you doing, glory to God Almighty, to get the fresh anointing. What you doing, glory to God Almighty, to get the fresh fire. Oh, God Almighty, you sit down one place. Glory to God Almighty, with the little that God have given unto you. You sit on it, glory to God Almighty. You ain't doing nothing. But you want God to give you more. Hallelujah. I got out of the apostle. Paul was the antithesis, antithesis of being contempt Christian from the beginning of his Christian life. And throughout his life, an experience as a believer in Christ, his life was a quest to know Christ. Life was a quest to know Christ. Hallelujah. Even toward the end of his life, he said that he doesn't account of himself to have laid old. But he did one thing. He forget the things which were behind. Hallelujah. And press to the higher mark. May we never become content this evening. Hallelujah. May we have the aspiration of knowing the Lord more and more. Gaining Christ more and more. Glory to God. And being filled with Christ more and more. We need to be those to pursue after Christ. Seeking to gain Christ and desiring to find by others in Christ. So that we may gain God and have a deeper seeking after God. If we are content. God will exercise his sovereignty and apparate in our environment to do the work of stripping glory to God Almighty and consuming to tear us down and rebuild us. Glory to God, hallelujah, himself. Him not say nobody come do it. He might do it himself. So sometimes we have some things going on in our life. We say, Satan, God never sends Satan come nowhere. God come himself, glory to God. But because we don't have the spirit of discernment to know that this is God. Glory to God Almighty. This is God. This is God taking away all these things from me. Glory to God Almighty. So he can build me. God has something. God has something up him sleeve. God has something to do. Great in my life. So he's getting rid of all this baggage. Glory to God Almighty. All these enemies. God Almighty. God is tearing them down from off me and around me. So glory to God. He can bless me. God is going to do something great in our life. Amen. Because we don't have the spirit of discernment. We know, don't know when God is stripping us from when Satan is molesting us. Glory to God Almighty. There's a different glory to God. There's a different, there is a stripping and there is a molestation. Glory to God Almighty. God don't molest us. God strip us. Glory to God. So he built us. Satan molest us and tempt us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What we need is a deeper seeking after God. We shouldn't be satisfied with the amount of God we have. We want more. The songwriter said, I want to be more, more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. We should look and temper the liquor we have. Seek more and more and more of God. We gain with the amount of Christ that we know and enjoy. Actually, we don't really know how much we know Christ and how much of God we have in us. None of us know how much of God we have in us. The only one who really knows is God himself. Know the amount that him were inside of us. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. And we always want us to be seeking him in a deeper way to know Christ. Enjoy Christ and gain Christ. May we not be contented. May we not be sit and set in our ways, settles in our situation. Glory to God Almighty. Come out of the sleep of summer. Ah, oh, God Almighty, hallelujah. 
Come out of the poverty. Glory to God Almighty. This afternoon. Oh, God Almighty. Come out of where you're in. Uh, come in at this with God. Uh, this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Uh, God said we not to sit down in the situation. Uh, we not to settle in the situation. Uh, or our condition that occupy uh, with other things. Uh, but may we see God uh, in a deeper way to gain him holy. Christ has laid hold of us. Uh, and now we need to lay hold of him. Uh, oh, God Almighty. Without a counter uh, for ourselves to have laid hold. Uh, but we forget the things which are behind uh, and stretch forward. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stop holding on to the word. Stop holding on to what our glory to God Almighty. You are gaining to the word. Stop hold on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Many of you might say, ah, I'm going to preach this today. Apostle is going to preach this to let go of what you're gaining in the world because uh, she lost everything. Uh, oh God Almighty, I care less uh, what I lost uh, and I care less uh, what you say. Uh, glory to God Almighty. I am saying it by the book uh, and diluted. Uh, glory to God, I bring it to you. So God, give me if I saw me that shit go no. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, I care less. Uh, I lost everything uh, for the gain of Christ Jesus. Uh, glory to God Almighty. And I still don't have enough uh, of God. Hallelujah. I am going deeper. I want to seek him deeper. Glory to God. I want more of God in me. I want more of God and less of me. Hallelujah. I want when I walk out on the street, they see God, not me. I want when I bring a word, they hear God, not me. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. I got Almighty woman of God, I hear you says, I say, you said you're getting your passport, I woman of God, but we need a visa. Glory to God Almighty. The passport and the baptism. Come and teach us something, Dr. Galloway. The passport and the baptism. Glory to God Almighty. The visa, glory to God Almighty. And the holiness, hallelujah, Jesus. And the itinerary and the righteousness. Glory to God. Without a visa, a lot of us we can't go to a lot of country. Glory to God Almighty. So you have to have the visa mm -hmm. and the itinerary. If you don't have the itinerary, you can go for the flight. Glory to God Almighty. So get your itinerary ready, which is the righteousness. The visa is the holiness. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. And the passport and the baptism. Oh, God Almighty, come on, somebody. Let me touch Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to enjoy Christ before and enter into the experience of all inclusive, extensive Christ ahead of us. Hallelujah, Jesus. And our goal is the ultimate enjoyment of Christ, the fullness enjoyment and the gaining of Christ. Today, we pursue Christ to gain him for the eternity. We will continue to enjoy him and gain him to the uttermost. This is what our living is all about. But when we become contented, when the Lord sees what we are contented with, what we are and where we are, we will have to do the work of stripping us. Stripping us and consuming to the other base. A way to rebuild us with God himself. So when we would be merely a good man, but a God man. Hallelujah. We merely will be a good woman, but a God woman. Because God himself stripped us uh, and rebuilt us. Uh. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. The same as God in his life and mature. Glory to God Almighty. That's not in his Godhead. It's order for us to express God. Lord Jesus, we open to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we come to gain you this afternoon. Amen. Yes, Lord. Speak after you deeper, God. We just gain you. Save us, God Almighty, this evening from being content where we are, God. Being content where we are and what we are and what we have. 
Father God Almighty, you gave us dinner every evening. But we don't want that God Almighty, we want a vineyard. Oh God Almighty, you give us some little change in our pocket. But Father God, we don't contempt with that. Tell God this afternoon. I want a bank, God Almighty. This evening, hallelujah, glory to God. Because you said everything, glory to God, in this world belongs to you. So why should I be contempt with $100 and $200? I want a bank. Amen. Glory to God Almighty. So God have to strip us uh, before he can bless us. Uh, glory to God. In standing of gaining uh, what is not of God. Hallelujah. God's intention is dealing with us. His people. His people is that we would be empty. Empty ourselves to gain God as our everything. We have to be empty to gain God. You know what, everything. In Psalm 73, we see a similar situation with Job's situation. For the psalmist saw how the evil man prosper, while he, a righteous man, who sought after God has been distressed and persecuted. It seems that the one who doesn't care for God may gain many things, and is prospering, but the one who cares for God is restricted by God and not even stripped of God of many things. Why God cannot um, strip us and what, that why we can't gain a lot of things from God? Because we're still in Egypt. The Egyptian make his people all right. You notice the devil people, them always doing fine. Amen. Because they intend to work for God. They intend to work with the devil. Amen. But we, glory to God Almighty, say oh, we are children of God, but our soul is somewhere else in the wilderness with the devil. We are not in the right standard with God. And any time we get into that right standard with God, no devil adversaries can never prosper more than us. Once we get in that right standard, I'm talking to myself as well. I'm talking to myself as well. Not just you, school of coffee. I'm talking to myself. As long as we get into that right standard, God, we will never lack he says, seek ye first, glory to God, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all things will be added. Be seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. He never says, so my righteousness. He say, all. So if you have so many righteousness and not have the rest, you still now forget the things and to add it. Glory to God. You still not gonna get the things of the other. God said to seek him and everything in him. And don't be distracted from absolute enjoying of him. The devil will come to distract us. He is behind the work of stripping and consuming. He is behind the work of stripping and consuming through our environment. He does not care for us, oh God Almighty, for we to seek after him, but he has to have a way to empty us from everything else for us to gain God. Hallelujah, Jesus. In our everything, in the natural realm, glory to God, what we see and seems to happen is that we more, we seek after God and pursue Christ, the more there is a work of stripping and consuming. Glory to God Almighty. The more, Amen. hallelujah, glory to God. If we hear to our spiritual ears and if we see to our spiritual eyes, sometimes you will not even remember so that thing is over there. But because his eyes is spiritual, you are seeing glory to God, not out of the natural, but out of the spiritual, you will see it and say, this is not of God. This has to go. You will hear it, glory to God Almighty. And sometimes when you hear it, uh, most of the times uh, when you hear it, uh, there is a scripture that he sent you to our God Almighty to back you up uh, with it in the name of Jesus uh, so you know so you have to get rid of it uh, our God Almighty you have to get off I don't know still God this uh, this uh, God uh, when it comes uh, it comes with a word uh, our God Almighty hallelujah it comes with a revelation uh, our God Almighty and it comes glory to God with a warning you know this is God 
seems that we are restricted by God. And he was tricked by him of many things. God's intention with us is to seek her. Is that we would find everything in him. And not be distracted. This is something that Job didn't realize. In his time, since in a divine revelation, in his time, he had reached on the level of Abraham time. That is the sinner God needs. Our God Almighty, redemption. Glory to God Almighty. The sinner needs God's redemption. With the shedding of the blood, of the burnt offering. Hallelujah. Our God Almighty in Job 1 verse 5. And in 42 verse 8. Glory to God Almighty. Get your pen and pencil because I'm coming with some scriptures. Glory to God Almighty. I love to give scriptures to back up what I have to say. Glory to God. It is only in the New Testament that we see divine truth regarding, hallelujah, matters such as regeneration. Glory to God. In John 3, verse 6, uh, uh, 1, hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Peter 1, verse 23. Uh, renewing glory to God Almighty. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16. Uh, transformation. Glory to God. Uh, Romans 12, verse 2. Uh, and 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. Uh, that's and that's confirmation. Huh? Glory to God Almighty. Romans 8 verse 28. Huh? Uh, God Almighty and the glorification. Huh? Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Being explicitly revealed to us. Huh? Job and his friend were in a, a, a primitive stage of divine revelation. Huh? You see John 3. Huh? Glory to God. Verse 7. Huh? Hallelujah. God verse 12. Our huh? uh, God 16. Hallelujah. See him John. Huh? 16 verse 12 to 13. Huh? But we today are the complete divine revelation in the full Bible. Paul received a full and explicit revelation of things concerning Job, glory to God, and his friends are not understanding. Job knew there was something hidden in the heart of God, but he did not see what this was. Our God Almighty Jesus, praise the Lord today. Our God Almighty, praise the Lord today. We can clearly see that God's purpose is dealing with us. He chosen people, his chosen people, is that we should be empty of everything and receive only God as our gain. For his desire is that we would gain God as our life, life supply, and everything to us. Glory to God, when we're dead, we can't carry nothing. Hallelujah. When we're dead, we can't carry nothing with us. Nothing at Neither all. Thing. So, school of prophets, my dear brothers and sisters, today I just want to tell somebody, strip off everything and seek God more. Seek God more. Seek God more. Seek God more. Strip off and see God more. Hallelujah. These definitions describe perfectly how it feels when the Spirit of God begins shining His light into your life. When the Spirit of God, how it feels. You can't tell the feelings there. The first feelings there. That's when we just find Christ. When we just seek Christ and we are dig deeper and deeper and deeper because I feel, you know, when we get the full, you know, we want to feel it back again, you know. So we have to dig deeper and deeper and that feeling that we get. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our oh, God Almighty is light into my life, your life, to reveal what does not belong inside of you. What does not reflect his image. Glory to God. This is usually due to our heart problem within me here. Truthfully, I ask for it, but I never prepare for the pain of the stripping and the process. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. A lot of us would have said, I know a lot of you on this prayer line. Oh, God Almighty, I wish I could hear like Prophet Nish. I wish I could see like Prophet Nish. I wish I could pray our oh, glory to God and prophesy like Apostle Cecilia. Glory to God Almighty. But there is a thing named stripping. And there is a thing called process. Glory to God Almighty. For that divine light to shine. That light has to come inside. Hallelujah, Jesus. That light, Jesus. That light has to shine inside of you. Search out, hallelujah. We call it the searching light. 
search out for everything that is not of God. Hallelujah, to get it out. Hallelujah, it's not gonna keep nothing there. That light not gonna overlook nothing. It's not gonna overlap nothing. Anything that is not in the light gonna expose it. Glory to God Almighty. Remember Adam and Eve, after they sin against God, what is the first thing they realize? They were naked. Glory to God and a shame. Glory to God, this instinct was to hide. And we are still hiding today. I don't know what you hide behind. Glory to God. I don't know what you are hiding behind. Glory to God. But as for me, I lift my hands this afternoon. And I said, God, anything I'm hiding behind, remove it. Remove it. Hallelujah. Expose me, Jesus. Expose me this afternoon. Anything that I'm hiding behind. Glory to God Almighty. And anything that any one of you hiding behind. I command the light of God to shine and expose it this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. But when I am feeling exposed, I have a few favorite fig leaf to hide behind. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever, whatever glory to God, being ever empty, the resourceful woman, I soon feel the hour with gratitude. Glory to God Almighty, hallelujah. I love God, hallelujah, this evening. Oh, God Almighty, I praise God this evening. Whatever, glory to God Almighty. Whatever it is, Holy Ghost. Whatever it is, mighty God. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, God, shine your light this evening. Whatever it is, Holy Ghost, shine your light this evening. Shine your light this evening. Shine your light this evening. Strip me, God Almighty. Make me naked before you, God. Strip me this evening. Remove what I'm hiding behind God this evening. Strip me, Holy Ghost, so you can bless me and let me be filled of you. Those are my few words for you this evening. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah.